Hey, it's Chuck here back with Milton Dilly Homes, and uh, today's kind of a weird day. Not a lot of photos, there's uh, a lot of incomplete information. So anyhow, I'll help you sort through it. Um, if you're really in a rush, don't worry about today. Go check out tomorrow. So 756 Chalinor is at 315.5, and so it's a moon seat end. So if you know the uh, the Matami three-story homes, it's the end unit. I think 1278 square feet. It's the three-bedroom version. So two very small rooms plus the master, and it looks kind of basic inside. I mean, there's not a lot of information here. Um, you know, I think they're competing against a lot of homes that some of them are bigger than them, although they're not end units. I, I think they have a, a, a mediocre chance of selling in, in a, you know, a week or two. I think there's just so many there, not all of them are selling. Now, 97 Holloway is at 359. This is like 1260 square feet, which is a little bit high typically for that size. But where these guys really win out is quality. So when you look at the finishes inside, it's a Heathwood home, nine foot ceilings, pot lights, granite countertops, hardwood floors, uh, stainless steel, you know, the whole run of upgrades on this one, and it's beautiful inside. You can see how nice the photos are. Great composition here. The furniture definitely adds to the space. And uh, so they're playing the quality game versus the size game, and I think they're doing a very good job at it. Now, Farmstead, number 39, and if you watch Daily Homes, you know how I feel about these Farmstead listings. I'm not a huge fan of them, um, but anyhow, it's 359.9. It does sound better, at least in the description, than a lot of these other ones. Nine-foot smooth ceiling, so you don't have that kind of popcorn-y effect. You've got hardwood floors. Um, it looks like there's some upgrades, some, some money they put into it, okay? So you don't pay your, there's a $50 fee, and you don't really pay that until March of 2013. I don't know if the builder put a hold on that. It's uh, Probably they have, because I guess a lot of the residents uh, are offering that. So I assume it's something from Cost Corp. And, uh, but the thing is, you pay for it somehow. You know, like when, when they give you cash back on a car, is, you know you're paying for that cash back. So anyhow, 1012 Gordon Heights. Uh, it's a sundial home. It's four ninety nine eight. It's a nice little location. You're right by the metro. You can walk to Starbucks. Uh, there's no photos here. And, I mean, there's a finished basement. There's a double car garage. Now, it says there's an in-ground pool. So, I, I don't know. We'd have to wait for the photos on that. If they do, very nice thing. And these sundial homes have probably an extra 20 feet compared to the Manami one. So, they do have space for that. Finished basement here. Um, yeah, I think overall, I'm, I'm really, yeah, in-ground saltwater pool. Fantastic. And I think that at that price for a pool, you don't normally see it. It's probably going to go pretty quick. They've got California shutters inside, hardwood floors. And, uh, and with that basement, it's got all the pieces. So I'm real excited about that one. That's the Chuck pick of the day, even though it has no photos. Now, 921 Rico Crossing is at 499 It's a double car garage. And one of the things about this model, I mean, they've chosen nice colors in the kitchen, done a little bit of molding up top, but you're still going to have to pay for your appliances, your air conditioning, your window coverings, your fencing. So go down the list and comparing this one to some of the other ones for sale, like that Gordon Heights one where everything's done and somebody probably put a $40,000 pool in, you know, what's the trade-off there? Um, the uh, so here's the family room, and then the kitchen is basically where the photographer is standing. The entryway goes right through the the middle of the dining room, and I've seen this model many times. And first of all, this room's not huge, and the second thing is that you're sort of confronted with a table right when you walk in, and it just doesn't have balance to me. It just doesn't feel like I feel like Madame didn't put the same sort of thought into some of their new models that they did with their old ones. And, and obviously the double car garage changes the whole dynamic because now you've got a 400 square foot, you know, cutout basically of your floor plan. So it's a lot different than a 200 square foot, you know, about a 10 by 20, which is what a single car garage would do. So again, I don't think the photos add anything to this. Uh, it's a four bedroom. Um, they've got a lot of competition, but I think that there are, there's a certain audience that says, hey, I like something new that nobody's ever lived in as well. Now, 937 Rigo Crossing, and I like this little area here. It's sort of, it's south of the hospital. 
I think it's going to develop quite nicely. I like the views of the escarpment. It has a nice feeling there. So uh, five nineteen nine is the price, and it seems similar to the uh, the previous one. And again, the same warning that you're going to have to put a lot of money in on appliances, uh, you know, air conditioning, all the rest of it. And so this one just looks like they've added a little bit more. Uh, the cabinets with tall uppers, the granite countertop with the undermounted sink, uh, granite countertops in the bathrooms, they've done the spindles and railings, those kind of things. So all of those, do they add up to 20000 I mean, probably from what they spent from the bill, like to Madame, I would say sure, but from an end user's perspective, does it make sense? I don't know. You'd have to see both and decide. And without pictures, very hard to tell. Now, Etherington is a realist. It's at 589, 2,800 square feet, four bedroom, three washroom, and uh, double car garage. Uh, I remember seeing the pictures, and I thought it's a pretty nice looking home. That that range is very interesting. The kind of 550 to 600. Um, I, I find that a lot of people are choosing to either go up into the sixes, or they're they're choosing to be very conservative and stay. A little bit closer to the uh, the lower fives, of which there's a lot of selection right now. We've just seen three on today's episode, even under the 500 mark. So that's what it is. I mean, I think that um, it's it's just it, to me, it seems like it's kind of in a dead zone. And when you've got 2,400 square foot homes listed for you know 519 and stuff like that, it makes it really really tough. And there's the 3,000 square foot home at 575 on Lesage that we uh, we profiled yesterday. Might be a little tricky for them. So 1660 Dempsey, this is a bit of a hidden photo thing. So it says photo not available, but then you've got the arrows in the corner. This is at 649.888. It's a 1600, or sorry, a 3700 square foot home. I don't know where I got 16 from. Um, the uh, You walk in the front door and you've got a living room. You've got a dining room. Just beside the living room is a, uh, a main floor den, okay, which they're not showing, but you can see it on the virtual tour. And so there's your kitchen, extra pantry space, uh, some hardwood floors. I believe that's the den right there. A little bit hard to tell from the photos. And there's five bedrooms. We have the same model listed on Tuxford, and it's obviously more expensive. It's I find it's a little bit better upgraded, and uh, and you've got the ravine behind. But anyhow, the uh, this listing here I think is the value pick. I don't see a lot of homes really with more size for the same price. Um, 5481 Trafalgar is the next one. It's at 749. No photos on this one too. It's a split level, which means you've got kind of a half staircase here and then their half staircase up here and then down there. So you've got, um, you know, three, four different levels. So there's a basement underneath and there's a crawl space probably under there. Um, the nice thing about this one is that it backs onto the golf course. Beyond that, I mean, I'm not seeing a lot with the house itself that, that really justifies that price. The lot's okay. Um, I think it would have to be pretty nice inside, even still at 749 Now, there's one at Mickey Court going back to uh, to the town, to Milton. And so it's at Darien Savaline. You've got four bedrooms, four washrooms. It doesn't say how big it is, although we know it's over 3,500 square feet. So I guess the onus is on these guys to prove why... Uh, they should like a buyer should spend more than the one that we saw for six forty nine. Okay, so the uh, the thirty seven hundred square foot it's a hundred thousand less. So these guys are in the game of saying here's why you should come buy our house. And without pictures, it's a little bit hard to tell. There's not even really a description. But wait for the photos. You can check the link. So when you check the the video even later today or tomorrow, if you go to the link down below. You're going to see when these guys actually put the photos up. But the uh, that's our list for today. Kind of an odd list, kind of a weird day, a little bit smaller. And uh, hopefully tomorrow is going to bring us some fire, some heat, some balls of awesome. So anyhow, have a great day. Enjoy the weather. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.